It's hard for kids to get through a lesson if they're distracted or unfocused. Sometimes your brains just need a break. Let's check out these fun brain break activities that you can use to help redirect kids toward learning. Hi, I'm Ron with Lakeshore Learning. Providing a quick mental break or shift can help kids return to their lessons with focus and assist in their mental stamina throughout the entire day. A quick note before we start. Take the time to teach these brain breaks before you plan to use them so the kids can just jump to the activity and get the most out of the breaks. This brain break is called Freeze. Freeze is a simple game where kids move the music that you're playing and then when the music stops, they freeze. You can even challenge them by having them freeze in a specific position like an animal or reaching up high. You can vary it by having everyone match you or someone else's freeze position. The next break is called make-believe throw and catch. In this break, the children throw and catch a make-believe ball. The first child with the ball calls out a child's name and then pretends to throw it. And then the child that was called on pretends to catch it. And this goes on and on until every child is thrown and caught the ball. You can guide who gets the ball next by monitoring who still needs to catch it. Play some music so they can dance around while they're listening for their name to be called. You can add variety by suggesting that the ball is really big or small and have the kids think about how that would change the way they would throw or catch it. The next brain break is called Air Band and this is a unique way to get kids moving. The kids will pretend to play different musical instruments that you're modeling for them. Get some music that uses different types of instruments like classical or jazz or big band or whatever. And then as you model playing different instruments, then have the kids do what you do as you pretend to play the violin, the trumpet, the drums, A flute. The instruments that you're pretending to play don't need to be featured in the music when you're playing them. But the more familiar you and the children are with the music and the instruments, well, the more you could match them up if you wanted to. Challenge the children by playing the instruments faster or slower as they follow your lead. If you have older kids, then pick someone else to be the leader and then everyone else plays what they're playing. Brain breaks like these allow for a quick mental break and a little kinesthetic release as kids return to your lessons refreshed and ready to work. Make your brain break expectations clear and concise as you make them your own through practice and repetition. Which brain break will you try first? Thank you for your time and patience. And most of all, thank you for being such an awesome teacher. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning channel to see more. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.